What happened, Sadi? I hardly recognize you. What do you think happened? I'm stuck in a time I don't understand. My friends are dead, and I'm alone. <coughs> I have a lot of time to think. Why do you doubt our algae? Because it isn't our algae. I found some articles in an archive. Norwegian algae research discontinued. Millions spent on useless research. Bent Svensson's algae was so weak even scientists didn't believe in it anymore. But I don't understand. Ben Svensson. THE Svensson. I even met Barney. And the doctor. They all believe in Bent and his research. Accept it, Faye. Bent Svensson is a failure. Don't get his hopes up. That's not making any sense. You must be wrong. Faye, please. You must listen to me. <coughs> Since we went on this mission, we've only brought death to the people. It's like a curse. Everybody dies. <coughs> Stop believing in the algae and get away from the rig, or Bent Svensson will d die. Saudi, please. If you are my friend, you have to trust me. The algae is powerful enough, and Ben Svensson is our savior. And he will die too. Saudi? We are lost. Saudi? Saudi! Oh no! What's wrong now? Oh no! The antenna cable got loose! Ah! Fresh sea air! Isn't it wonderful? You get used to it after a while. Let me tell you. Enjoy it while you still can. As of tomorrow, you'll be a long way from here, a made man. In Rio or New York, personally, I prefer Casablanca. I don't care, as long as I get away from here. I'm sick of risking my life for the Svensson every day. Last week, a machine almost ripped my arm out. <laughs> These things happen, but today, you are going to hurt the oil rig right back. Okay, uh, one more time, so you won't forget. The algae must be completely destroyed or my client won't pay. Do you really want to talk about this out here in the open? No, of course not. I just have to get rid of something first. Oh my god, what are these people planning? It's always the same. I can't be that clumsy. Yikes! It's a used tissue. Kellerman and partner, attorneys. You are supposed to rest. Instead, you're climbing up and down the facade. Once and for all, I'm fine. Bah. Stubborn as a mule. Excuse me? I said do whatever you want. Take a look around the oil rig. Climb pipes, jump out of windows. But don't come running to me if you start getting worse. Not a chance. That's settled then. Yuck. A used hanky made of cloth. I hope I won't need it. Then I could throw it away again soon. No idea how. 
Hello, Augie. Oh, hey, how's it going? What can I do for you, Faye? See you later. I hope there are signs showing the way. The presentation takes place in the residential area. Excuse me? The presentation. You are one- Um, no. The really? Man, time flies. Were you near the heliport earlier? Oh, damnation! What's wrong? For a brief moment I had the urge to work, but now it's gone. Because of you. Are you unsettled by my questions? No, not at all. I've been here the whole day. The foreman can confirm that. He made the work schedule. What are you doing? Working. And what? I'm a welder. I weld. I don't see you welding anything. Okay. Yeah. Not right now. But that doesn't mean I'm lazy. Quite the opposite. I'm a very eager worker. Passion is the fertile soil on which good work grows. Uh, and now I'm just not very passionate. Why aren't you passionate about your work right now? It's got a lot to do with atmosphere and a productive work environment. If I want to create something, I must be filled with inspiration. I have to feel the energies around me, the passion of creation. And you don't feel that right now? No. Right now, I'm feeling something completely different. I feel melancholy. Streets on a rainy day, broken hearts in the neon light. Oh dear. That doesn't sound positive. <sighs> well, that's life. When do you think you will be passionate about work again? What do you mean, when? It's not something you can plan for or force. You have to wait until the environment feels right, the climate, the creative spirit in the room. And where does that feeling come from? If I knew that, I wouldn't just be standing around. Have fun. Yeah, all in good time. Hey, leave it on. I can't work. But you aren't working. But I could start any minute. Something is swimming in that chamber, but I can't make out what it is. Something, but I... Yay! It's empty! Looks like the machines will have to make it through the day without me. Locked. 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 Good day. Hello. I have an important question about a worker. Ask. Why doesn't the man in the machine room work? Don't let appearances mislead you. Magnus is one of my best welders. He's just a bit difficult when he has to work alone. But his colleague had the night shift today, so he's packed up already and has gone to the cafeteria to grab a bite to eat. The welder doesn't like to work alone? Sometimes he is a mystery to me, too. Why don't you go to the cafeteria and ask his colleague about it? Maybe he knows the secret. Someone's planned an attack on the oil rig, and one of the workers is going to carry it out. How do you know that? I was at the heliport when I overheard a conversation. Some bald guy gave instructions to a worker. Hmm. Hmm? Just a sec, I'm thinking. Did the worker wear an eye patch? I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. You just made up that story. You want me to evacuate the oil rig so you can take over here. No! That's not true! <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have to bring me evidence before I believe your story. Please, I have to know where the suspect is working right now. You don't even know who your suspect is. Bring me evidence first, then I'm going to help you. I'll be back later. Don't worry, I'll be right here.
Hello. Hi. I'm looking for a bald man. Do you know him? He one of the suits? I think so. Don't want anything to do with them types. So you don't have anything to do with the investors? You haven't even talked to them? About what? Weather? Bad enough they decide who works and who don't. I'm not gonna play happy people and suck up to them. They better just give us the money and bug it off. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Do you know the welder in the engine room? Magnus? Sure, he's a wimp, but works like a robot. Really? Yeah, I know. The others are complaining all the time, too. Can't work with Magnus. Damned freak. Me? I'd just say you only gotta know how to take him. You can put dynamite in his ears. He wouldn't care. And why's that? I know how to party. <laughs> Don't you have to work today? Been working all night. Enough's enough. Just hoping that no Einstein will get no idea to make me do his shift. He won't see tomorrow. I tell you, when I get mad, I'm mad like hell. Is that a threat? No. Nah. It's a law of physics. How do you get the welder to work? I party. That stops him brooding. Are you telling male jokes? That too. And me locker is full of party hits. There's some for everyone, even Magnus. Could you give me the key to your locker? Lady, me locker's no one's business but mine. You can beg as you want. You'll not get it. Bye. Ciao. He looks tired. What do you want? Bye. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Could you get- Lady, you can- Bye. Ciao. Someone sewed on a piece of cloth with a name on it. Apollo Langlo. Someone sewed a pot. Hey, get away from my jacket. Sorry. Hello. Ah. Uh. Bye. Chat. I don't think so. Locked, but I don't want to get back in there anyway. That's an instruction for the radio operator. A certain Irik Harkonnen is to report to the storage depot immediately. The different stations on the oil rig are assigned different keys. Number one, lab. Number two, archive, and so on. I'll strike out Ira Harkonnen and put in the name Apollo Langlo instead. I wonder if that will work. I just have to put the facsimile in the machine, hit the key for the radio room, and that's it. Apollo Langlo, please proceed to the storage depot. I repeat, Apollo Langlo. I think I have what I wanted. Someone so Apollo. 